So the first thing we're going to do uh, today is we're going to be talking about what's called traversability. What that means is, traverse just means that you can follow it. So it just means you're able to do it. All right. So don't worry, be worried about that word. So we're going to talk about being able to follow a path. Okay. Can you follow a path? Or a circuit. Remember the two differences? Path means you go one way and, and you don't necessarily end up in the same spot. A circuit means you can come back to exactly the same spot you started at. So, can you do that? So, can you follow a path or a circuit? And that's what traversability means. Okay? So, there are two things that we need to be aware of, and they both rely on something that we've talked about before. Remember, we talked about even nodes and odd nodes. So that just means an even number of edges leaving the node. And odd, of course, means an odd number of edges leaving the node. And the number of even and odd nodes that you have is going to affect whether or not you can do a path or a circuit, and therefore whether or not it's traversable. Okay? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the two rules, look at an example really quickly, and then I'll get you set you on your way. So, we'll just go to the book. Okay, traversability. Ah, that E should have been an A. Oh well. Okay, so a couple of rules. So a network is traversable if you can start at one node and trace every edge exactly once. In other words, you're not backtracking. So that's the first thing you need to know. You can trace every edge exactly once. Second, you may visit a node more than once. So even though you're only going across the edges one time, you can go through the same node more than one time. That nodes don't matter as far as crossing through them. Okay. Next, you may or may not end up where you started. So there are two different types of networks that are traversable. One where you end up where you start, one where you don't. So you may or may not end up where you started. And the final idea is that a network is either traversable or not. You don't get a choice. It either will or will not work. And we'll look at the two rules that will help you decide that. I'll give you a minute to write. Okay, so a network is traversable if it has either no odd nodes or exactly two odd nodes. So don't can't have any more than two, can't have any less than two. So everything about this is based on whether you have even and odd nodes and how many odd nodes. Even nodes, who cares? Okay. And there are going to be two types of circuits, that are two types of traversable networks that you're going to see. Let's move down a little bit. And you don't have to worry about Euler, this name. It's a mathematician who discovered this. Don't You don't have to. Hmm. I don't think there's ever a time when you're going to have to use his name, but you do have to know what it is that you're working with. So, okay. The first one is an Euler circuit. Now, remember, a circuit means you can go all the way around, right, and start where you finish, and finish where you started. Exactly. Okay. So remember, and so, and in in order for that to happen, you can't have any odd nodes. Okay. But you always end up where you started, and, ironically, it doesn't matter where you start. So you can put your start anywhere. So if you look at the example here, all of these nodes are even. Therefore, we can make an, an Euler circuit. So if we start here, we can go up down, back this way, back this way, and we finish right back where we started. 
Now remember, you can cross through a node more than once. You just cannot cross. You can't. You just can't go on the same edge more than once. Now there are lots of other ways to do that. It doesn't matter. There's no one correct way that you could have done that. So if you started here, you could have gone this way, down, back up, and around this way. It makes absolutely no difference which path you take as long as you do not cross any edge more than one time and you start and finish in the same spot. Okay? And so that's an Euler circuit. And the only way that works is if you have no odd nodes at all, right? You saw that every one of these is even. And remember, even just means there's an even number of edges coming up, coming from the node, all right? The other type of network that is traversable is what's called an Euler path. Now remember with a path, you're not starting and stopping at the same point. You're just taking a trail, right? And in order for that to happen, you have to have exactly two odd nodes. Because if you think about it, if that's three and that's three, it turns it into a six, so you're getting an even number, okay? Now, it doesn't work with any more odd nodes. You can't have any more than two, but you can have exactly two and make it still work, okay? Now, notice all, every other node is even, okay? So, it doesn't matter. You're still going to do every single, every single one of these, and again, so it doesn't matter really where you start, but you're going to end up starting and finishing at the odd nodes because you don't have as many pathways in and out of those. They're not as forgiving. So in this particular one, you could go this way. Then you can go this way, back around, around, back, and here. We'll finish there. So there's no way to start and finish except at the odd nodes. Now there's, again, a ton of different ways you can do that. You could follow different pathways to get to where you're going. It makes no difference as long as you start and finish at an odd node. Okay? So when you're, so your path might not be exactly like someone else's path. Okay? So they're paths, so you don't end up where you, don't end up where you started you start, but you must start and finish at odd nodes, and you can't have more than two odd nodes. You have to have exactly two. All right? And that's all there is to it. Now, the problem is, remember that if something looks too easy, we don't study it. So make sure that you're really paying attention to working with these. All right? So, just want you look at how they set it up. Remember, they always scaffold it really well for in the beginning to, to remind you of all the things you need to think about. So for the following networks, identify the odd nodes. So D is an even node, right? It's got four paths going out, so it's even. C has two, so it's even. E has two, so it's even. B has three, so it's odd. And A has three. So it's odd. So we have exactly two odds, right? Which means that it is traversable, right? Because we have exactly two odd nodes. And that means that it would make an Euler path and not an Euler circuit. And remember, a circuit has to be all even but a path can have two odds. So it's pretty straightforward. Of course, they're gonna give you much more complicated networks to follow, but first thing you need to do is you can make a little chart or you can just put even and odd on your circuit as long and on your network as long as you're very careful. Those things can get really complicated. So a chart might be your best bet and we're going to be using lots of charts and tables to organize our work in this one. So getting used to doing those might be a good idea. Okay. And then they're just going to give you 
some more of those, right? And you can go ahead and practice on these too. They're not asking you to draw a path. They're just asking you if you can. So right there, again, they're gonna go on with several more, All right? So what I want you to do is just do this section on the paths. So it's, what is that page? They start on page 28 and go through page, let's see how many of them there are. They usually give you way more than you need. <laughs> yeah, go through page 31. Um, you don't have to do all of them, but do at least get to some of these more complicated one, complicated looking ones because otherwise um, you're not gonna be as prepared. But some of them are quite easy. One, the, one easy way to find out if it's traversable or not is look to see how many odd nodes you have. There I already have three, so automatically it's no, so who cares about the rest of it, right? So you can eliminate them pretty quickly by finding odd nodes. So, okay. All right. So let me stop the recording.